I needed a change of scene. So I took a trip out to Long Island to visit my parents. Howard Goldberg, an old student of theirs, was visiting too. He just directed his first feature film. We got to talking about all kinds of music. Howard hadn't hired a composer yet, and he said he'd give me a shot. I love movies. I can do this! I have no idea exactly how. I guess I'll just think about the scenes and write whatever music comes to me. With these new synthesizers, I can create sounds no one has ever heard before. Wait a minute. How am I going to get the music to fit the scenes? It was 1975, home video didn't exist yet. So I had no way to have the picture at home with me while I wrote the music. To get the exact timings of every detail, I had to go down to the editing room and start measuring the film very carefully. OK, you step through the door onto the roof at 45 feet and 8 frames. The door slams behind him at 46 feet and 13 frames. Okay. At 16 frames per foot, 24 frames per second, at a tempo of 94 beats per minute. Oh, my head is spinning. There's so much math involved getting the music to start and end precisely where I wanted to. That string swell has to come just as he's about to jump off the roof, or I'm toast. So sure, I would get down to the studio and everyone would realize that I didn't know what I was doing. Luckily, the recording went very well, but the studio we were using didn't have a projection system, so I was still wondering, is the music actually going to fit the footage? Mm -hmm. The next day, I walk into the editing room, conveying casual confidence. <laughs> I watch over the editor's shoulder as he cuts my first cue into the film. <sighs> Thank God that one hit everything just right. Here comes the next. This goes on for hours, one cue after another. 35 pieces of music with a few minor adjustments. Every single cue works. Somehow I pulled it off. <laughs> 